Let's simplify this expression. We can think of the fraction bar as a grouping symbol and we'll evaluate in the numerator and the denominator separately. So let's look at each separately. In the numerator, I have absolute value bars. Again, this acts as a grouping symbol, so let's evaluate within the absolute value bars first. 25 minus 30, if you need to, you can write that as 25 plus negative 30. The result, though, within the absolute value bars is negative 5. And then I have the square outside. In the denominator, I have multiplication and I have addition. So we will multiply first. 2 times negative 6 is negative 12, and then plus 7. Now let's continue to simplify. The absolute value of negative 5, that is 5. The absolute value of negative 5 is 5, and 5 squared is 25. And then negative 12 plus 7, how do you add two numbers with unlike signs? You subtract their absolute values and keep the sign of the number with the larger absolute value. So I would have negative 5 in the denominator. Then 25 divided by negative 5, that's a positive divided by a negative. The result is negative, and 25 divided by 5 is 5, so the result is negative 5.